everyone, it's Desi. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the Aztec Clay Healing Mask. Now I've seen this mask everywhere and I finally wanted to give it a try because I thought it might solve my acne issues right now. I'm going through the worst acne period of my life in this moment and it's really stressful because I feel like I just don't know what's going on. I think it's like hormones with a mix of like stress. It's just never been this bad and I just decided that I'm going to try out this mask and hopefully it helps. So I've used this mask for about a month now and I have some final thoughts about what I feel about this mask. Um, and I'm going to share them with you guys today. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And yeah, let's get started. This is what it looks like here. It says it's the world's most powerful mask. So it's an Indian healing clay mask. So this is a natural calcium bentonite clay mask. I've tried bentonite clay masks before and I did find them to be quite similar to how this product works. It says facials, acne, body wraps, clay baths, foot soaks, and chilled clay for knee pads. Enjoy the benefits of clay in your home. Beautify and refresh. It's meant to do quite a lot of things. Um, I'm mainly using it for acne because that's the issue that I have. It gives you a bit of instructions on the back here of how to use it. I found that the instructions were not the best to be honest because it said it was like a one-to-one -one ratio between the liquid and the powder and it's not that at all in my personal experience I found that it was like a one to two and a half or one to three ratio one powder to two or three liquids so I've already mixed some up now keep in mind that this stuff is really annoying to mix I found that mixing this stuff was really hard I would recommend for one use that you use about a teaspoon of this with about two to three teaspoons of water and mix that in until it's a smooth paste smooth consistency no lumps otherwise you're gonna have the worst time putting it on and letting it dry okay guys I'm gonna go ahead and put the face mask on I already mixed it so it looks kind of like this I don't know if you guys can tell it's kind of like a greeny consistency a greeny color and the consistency is um, pretty smooth I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my skin So it took me a long time to get here guys but this is definitely the perfect consistency to put on this product because it's not too runny but it's also not too thick you know because if it's too thick then it's going to take forever to dry trust me I've been down that road and you do not want it too thick you want it just the right amount of thickness and with, even with one teaspoon like I feel like this is like a lot of product so you know use what you need because you don't want to be wasteful so now that it's all done you just wait till it's dry what i've usually found that when it's like drying this is probably the most uncomfortable part of the mask it says that the mask is meant to pulsate when it's drying and you can feel it going to your skin for me it felt more like an itch like especially in the areas where i had the most acne the most like inflamed acne it felt like my skin was so itchy like it was so itchy i it like it was irritating as hell at one point i had to remove it in the initial stages but this feeling did go away over time as i used the mask more and more i think because my skin was like really infected at the time it was a lot harder like the mask was like really just fighting with my acne it was intense like it was super uncomfortable so uh, some of you may experience the same like itchiness or i don't know a different sensation when you have like really intense acne so just be aware of that it did go away though after a bit so it it's not like a forever feeling so I just kind of persisted if it's too much make sure you just don't scratch just take the mask off because it's not worth you scratching your face to like keep the mask on at all so I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and then I'll come back with my final thoughts on the mask and I'll tell you guys how I really feel about it and you guys can see how it dries and everything okay guys so the mask has dried for the most part there's still a few bits that aren't dried like here but that's because I put too much on but for the most part most of my face is dry and when it's dry it feels really tight on your face it's a very typical feeling for a clay mask so yeah it's basically what I expected in this regard and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this but to remove the product I'm just basically using a wet towel and kind of like a uh, wet dampening like the mask and I find this is like the easiest way for it to come off without like scratching and stretching my skin because don't want no wrinkles 
Okay guys, so that's basically it. So just a recap on the face mask. I've used this for about a month now, about two times a week. I'll post a video of what I looked like last month. I've been literally suffering from intense acne this last couple months and it's just been ridiculous. I don't really know what the cause is, but as you can see, when I started using this mask, I had a lot of acne under my chin, which is a lot better now than what it used to be. Um, so it's definitely gone down. I can definitely see the result. But I have got a lot more acne on my cheek area than before, which is quite annoying. My overall thoughts on this mask is that it definitely does feel like it's really cleansing your skin and gets the gunk out. But I would not say that this is a miracle cure for acne. I feel like if you're trying to prevent acne or cure acne, this is probably not going to be an all-in-one solution. I do think it just depends on the issue, the reason behind why you have the acne in the first place that could determine what solution works best for you. In this case, I felt like my acne was really hormonal, um, so it's been really hard to get rid of, but I'm working towards that goal and I've been cleaning my face really effectively, trying to be as disinfected as possible, but yeah, so I really don't think that this is all an all-in-one cure, but I do think that it's a really good face mask and it really does get the job done of getting into your pores and declogging them. My face feels a lot smoother and as you guys can see, it's like visibly like firmer as well. Like it really tightens your face, which is a really good effect. I feel like that would keep your face useful. Um, yeah, so overall I do really like this face mask. I think it does what it says it does. I would just keep in mind the effects of the tingliness and the itchiness that I got from it. But overall, I thought that it did a good job. So if you guys want to pick this up, I will have a link down below for you guys to go check that out. I bought mine from Amazon. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. If you've tried this face mask and if it's worked for you, what do you guys reckon? And also leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about any specific skincare ranges that you guys want me to try out. I'm always looking to try out new skincare. And I'm like a skincare junkie. And if you did like this video, make sure to thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel. That would mean the world to me because I'm trying to be consistent this year with my channel. So if you could subscribe, it would be amazing. And I'll see you guys in my next video.